Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR, this is Marv, that's Virgil, that's my Toyota that I just call Toyota um, in the shop. You guys know that, that's Daryl. So, you know, um, like everybody, I sometimes struggle with staying motivated and Somebody pointed out in my Facebook group that like this is a point where most people give up, right? And yeah, it is. Like it's certainly tempting to just be like, well, F this, put it all up for sale, come and sitting in it, you know, whatever. Um, I'm at the point where like all I do is throw another $100 at this thing and make very little progress. So like the, the part where I post like a cool picture of the Cummins and it being painted is over right like now I have to figure all this out like this thing that goes up in there that I forgot this dash is kind of just sitting here um you know it's a lot of work this dash is going to have to come back out like five more times while I figure stuff out I, I bought this Amazon Basics sound deadening and it's shit uh the Noiko stuff's way better. It's what I should have used. I'll probably put that up on the roof or something. But, like, yeah, I got to go in there. I got to weld those holes shut up there on the roof of the cab. Grind them down. Um, it's a lot of stuff to do. Like, a lot of stuff to do. And it's all little piddly stuff that's not fun, right? Like, it's not directly leading to me doing a burnout. Um, so... How do you stay motivated? Like, how do you not give up and, and just walk off and be like, man, F this, right? Um, and it's hard. Like, it, it is hard to do. I'll tell you a, a number one way that I do it is, like, I'm not going to give people the satisfaction of being like, see, I told you that shit would never run again. Um, but it's also largely why i encourage people again and again and again to like not bite off more than they can chew like if you make 12 dollars an hour part-time making balloon animals you shouldn't be doing this kind of build um and then i really shouldn't be doing one two three four projects at once and a tractor um you know it, it makes for slow progress and at best, it's just going to take me much longer to complete than if I did them one at a time. But you do have to like have a good group of friends and a good family member. Mrs. Engineer is always supportive. She's always happy to you know say, "Hey, why don't we just why don't we just make that? Why don't you just build that? Why don't we uh, you know why don't we just have fenders laying all over our yard and that kind of shit." Um, I was sick today too. I stayed home from work. I slept till late noon. I don't know what was up with that, but anyway, um, it can be hard. Like, and I know it can be hard. And you just got to keep moving forward. Like every day, do something, a little something. I came up here today. I set this dash up here for the second time. Uh, I looked at my clutch pedal, my brake pedal. I took that bracket off, which made it very hard to put my dash up here. Um, I got ready to go grab some screws from the junkyard tomorrow for the to hold the dash in, at least from the upper. I, like I said, I'm gonna have to lay this back down and have Mrs. Engineer come help me put it back up once I figure out how to hook that to the uh, flat door. But. I do make progress, right? And I, I just, a little something every day. And, you know, I see that thing and it's very nice. And I'm sure it's very comfortable and it's got its 10 speed automatic and it's 6, 7 power stroke. And, you know, it just runs down the road. And I know that it's $80,000 and I'm just not going to spend that. Um, I could, but then I couldn't do any of this other stuff. So, and then like i would have to go to work i'd have to go to work every day and put up with their shit hey coconut hey like right now i don't have to go to work every day and put up with their shit and that's that's pretty lovely i'm pretty happy about that <laughs> like at any moment i can just be like f you i've had enough and leave and then my projects would stall but I would still have a place to live.
and a place to work and a place for a coconut and peanut to lay their little fluffy heads. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Like someday I'll have a really cool truck and uh, I'll be able to say that I built it and it'll be the way that I want it. And I thank you guys all for following along on my little journey here. And I hope that your journeys are going well as well. So just a little bit of rambling and motivation, I hope. And uh, we'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer. Thanks.